in 1927, a film titled It Hit the Screens, captivating audiences with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. Have you ever wondered about your first encounter with this movie? Or perhaps you have a favorite character from the diverse cast? This classic offers a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments that keep viewers hooked until the end. So, if you're curious about some fascinating facts, keep watching. After the credits roll, we're eager to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this film. Share your stories in the comments below, we can't wait to read them. It, a 1927 film, holds a significant place in cinematic history. Set in a bustling city, the story follows a young woman working in a department store who strives to climb the social ladder. Her journey is marked by humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness. Among the memorable characters are the ambitious protagonist, the charismatic love interest, and a diverse cast of supporting roles. The film's blend of humor, shock, and sadness captivates audiences, leaving an indelible mark on those who watch it. Over the years, it has garnered critical acclaim and numerous awards, solidifying its status as a classic. Its enduring legacy continues to resonate with viewers, drawing them into its vibrant world time and time again. In 1927, a film captured the audience with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. The story revolves around a young woman working in a department store who aspires to climb the social ladder. Alongside her journey filled with humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness, there's a charismatic love interest and a diverse cast of supporting roles. At the end of the movie, while hanging from the anchor, both stars have it between them. The protagonist's journey resonates with viewers, drawing them into its vibrant world time and time again. The film's legacy continues to captivate audiences, leaving an impression that lingers long after the credits roll. Despite some challenges faced by the lead actor, the movie managed to make its mark in cinematic history. It holds a significant place in the hearts of those who have watched it, inviting them to share their cherished memories and personal experiences related to the film. In 1927, a film emerged onto screens, captivating audiences with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. The story revolves around a young woman working in a department store who aspires to climb the social ladder. Alongside her journey filled with humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness, there's a charismatic love interest and a diverse cast of supporting roles. Despite some challenges faced by the lead actor, the movie managed to make its mark in cinematic history. One interesting fact about the production is that actress Priscilla Bonner recalled author Eleanor Glynn visiting the set, masked in purple veils concealing recent plastic surgery scars. The actress found Glenn pretentious and artificial, contrasting her positive experience working with Clara Bow. Additionally, Monty's chauffeur-driven car, a 1925 Minerva town car Landelette made in Belgium, adds a touch of authenticity to the film's setting. The restored version, with original English language intertitles, was released in 1978 by Paul Killiam Shows, later upgraded in 1992 by Thames Television International, featuring a musical score by Carl Davis. It is this version that's most frequently offered to audiences today. Its enduring legacy continues to captivate viewers, leaving an impression that lingers long after the credits roll. In 1927, a film captured audiences with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. The story revolves around a young woman working in a department store who aspires to climb the social ladder. Alongside her journey filled with humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness, there's a charismatic love interest and a diverse cast of supporting roles. Despite some challenges faced by the lead actor, the movie managed to make its mark in cinematic history. One notable aspect of the film's impact is the song Clara Bow by Kristen Hirsch for the band 50 Foot Wave, featured on their debut album Golden Ocean. Additionally, there's the intriguing tidbit that at the beginning of the film, Monty is seen holding the October 1926 edition of Hearst's International Cosmopolitan magazine. Interestingly, the lead actor, despite previously stating he would make no more biopics, signed on for the court martial of Billy Mitchell in 1955. This Otto Preminger film, unfortunately, received criticism, with even Billy Mitchell's widow expressing disappointment with the actor's performance. Perhaps the story appealed to him on political grounds, as Mitchell accused the government of neglecting military needs. However, his appearance on Ed Sullivan's TV show to promote the film left home viewers disappointed, with critics noting his effeminate mannerisms in his TV interviews. 
Adding authenticity to the film's setting is Monty's chauffeur-driven car, a 1925 Minerva Town car Landolette made in Belgium. The restored version, with original English language intertitles, was released in 1978 by Paul Killiam Shows, later upgraded in 1992 by Thames Television International, featuring a musical score by Carl Davis. It is this version that's most frequently offered to audiences today. The enduring legacy of this film continues to captivate viewers, leaving an impression that lingers long after the credits roll. Share your thoughts and experiences related to this classic movie. In 1927, a film captured audiences with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. Set in a bustling city, the story revolves around a young woman working in a department store who aspires to climb the social ladder. Alongside her journey filled with humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness, there's a charismatic love interest and a diverse cast of supporting roles. Despite some challenges faced by the lead actor, the movie managed to make its mark in cinematic history. One interesting aspect of the production is that actor Charlton Heston, known for his role in the Ten Kamaline Tournaments, played a supporting role impressed by the veteran actor's durability despite declining health. The film premiered in Los Angeles before its New York City debut, garnering attention and acclaim. Another noteworthy fact is that lead actor Gary Cooper was a founding member of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals, showcasing his political involvement in the film Kamalim Tarunity. These insights offer a deeper understanding of the film's production and its impact on audiences. In the year 1927, a film emerged onto screens, captivating audiences with its blend of humor, shock, and sadness. Set in a bustling city, the story revolves around a young woman working in a department store who aspires to climb the social ladder. Alongside her journey filled with humorous encounters, shocking revelations, and poignant moments of sadness, there's a charismatic love interest and a diverse cast of supporting roles. One intriguing fact about the production is that before gaining fame as the It Girl, the lead actress was known as the Brooklyn Bonfire. Despite facing some challenges, such as the lead actor's struggle with his performance, the movie made its mark in cinematic history. The film is often associated with Eleanor Glenn's novelette, although the two stories are unrelated aside from the concept of it itself. Additionally, the film holds a significant place in the hearts of viewers as it was selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for its cultural and historical significance. This recognition showcases the enduring legacy of the movie, drawing audiences into its vibrant world time and time again. Another interesting tidbit is that actress Priscilla Bonner recalled author Eleanor Glynn visiting the set, masked in purple veils concealing recent plastic surgery scars. The actress found Glenn pretentious and artificial, contrasting her positive experience working with Clara Bow. Furthermore, Monty's chauffeur-driven car, a 1925 Minerva town car Landolette made in Belgium, adds authenticity to the film's setting. The enduring legacy of this film continues to captivate viewers, leaving an impression that lingers long after the credits roll. Share your thoughts and experiences related to this classic movie.